All right, guys, what's going on? I'm going to do an unboxing video here for uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which um, I'm super excited. I still haven't even got to play it. I finally just got a chance to download it the other day. Um, as, if you're watching, you know, for the gaming stuff, I've been playing uh, Spider-Man and having a blast. I absolutely love that game. It's been great. And I just found out that I didn't put in the code for the DLC on it. So I was like, why can't I get to it? And I fucking finally was able to do it so um i realized i didn't put that code in so i've been playing that i'm almost done with that um and then the cyberpunk comes out tomorrow and i have that and uh i need to get the stream all set up for that because it's on my xbox but i ordered this uh back in like the 15th before i even got my xbox uh series x and i ordered from gamestop which i should have known that was a bad idea anyways because i've never had anything ever work out really well with games unless you go directly in the store then the guys have been great there um at least in the one i go to uh the other ones around town not so much um but i ordered um the ultimate edition steelbook and i was really excited for it because i want all that because i really enjoyed assassin's creed origins um and odyssey i really like the reboot it reminded me a lot of of course it's a little bit more fantasy involved in but that's what the whole you know the greek gods and the egyptian gods and you know uh, the uh story about the um vikings and everything is always it's always had that stuff so that uh mythology um i i enjoy that i've always liked that so i'm excited i really like what they did and it reminds me of kind of the old assassin's creed one and two and then the story of Ezio, um, where it was really good, you know, um, and I enjoyed that. And then they kind of just started to get a little, I, did, I really didn't like Black Flag that much. A lot of people love it. I didn't enjoy it as much, uh, more so because of mechanics, not the storyline. Um, so I really like this reboot kind of of Assassin's Creed. Uh, I know some people know, and I've super enjoyed it. But st uh, stick with the story on that, I ordered from them and literally... I didn't get the game until December 4th, which is just a couple of days ago for me shooting this video. And I called them and they had no update. They had no clue where it was. I called the store. I called the uh, USPS. Nobody knew where the game was. They were like, this, it's in some kind of transit. Nobody knows. Um, then eventually it said that they couldn't find it. So I got pissed off. I called uh, GameStop, talked to the guy. They said they were going to refund me and I should be getting the email. I believe I'm going to get off phone. No email, no nothing. So I'm like, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm pretty aggravated. I was like, I'll just call tomorrow. Sure enough, the thing magically shows up tomorrow right in my doorstep. But that day, that day prior when I called them, I was like, well, you know what? It's just that uh, I found it at Best Buy. It's the gold edition, but it comes with like the statue and all the same stuff for the most part. A few different things uh, digitally it doesn't have screw it's the same price almost i'm just gonna go get it and they're gonna refund me sure enough i go there i get it i open it i look at it i'm excited and that was that day and then the next day the steel uh ultimate edition steel book comes i'm like son of a bitch so i was like uh i might go return it but i wanted the ultimate steel book for the look because i like to collect those and i wanted the uh the extra stuff the dlc in it so I have two open things of Assassin's Creed. So we're going to do an unboxing of the Ultimate Edition, the Gold Edition, Steelbook, and um, the Assassin's Creed Ragnarok uh, Edition statue. So I may end up doing maybe a giveaway with this other copy for my channel when I start it. We'll see. So we're going to see what I, I end up doing. But here is and i know you got the glare on here like i said i'm gonna have a different setup here soon but i love the way this steel book looks and this is the ultimate steel book edition pretty much the same thing on the back except for it has the berserker long ship pack the berserker gear the berserker settlement pack set of runes and includes the mission the way of the berserker which i believe the gold edition does too so these are always pretty tight but you can see it more there. Try to get it out of the glare for you. And then the game's pretty much, you know, basic setup just like that. You got to take a picture of uh, the main character behind here. Or no, you got a picture of the Vikings. And then there's the disc. Well, I'll put the disc back in. 
And this one is for the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X to get the free upgrade, which is nice. I love that they're doing that. There you go. That's a badass picture right there. I like to draw, and sometimes I look at these things, and it makes me want to. I used to draw a lot. Makes me want to get back into it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Steelbook Edition. For the Ultimate Edition, I guess I'd say. I like the way it looks. The book looks a lot better than the gold, in my opinion. The gold looks pretty cool. But um, here's the gold one. And I do like the gold on, but I like the picture on that much better. So here's the gold edition. The only difference is it doesn't come with the Berserker pack of everything. It just comes with the way of the Berserker mission. Both come with the season pass. Um, everything. There's the case. You can see the gold on it. I do like that. That gold is pretty cool. And then I do like the raised Assassin's Creed symbol in the back. That one doesn't have that. The disc looks the same. Season pass is a little bit different. You know, as far as the cover goes on there. This case is actually, now that I look at it more, I actually kind of like it. It's even got the imprinted symbol on the back there. I don't know. They're pretty both unique. I, I like them. There you go. They have, it looks like the two main characters. I'm assuming, again, I haven't played the game, guys. I'm really excited. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, this one still has the season pass, good and everything. I haven't used the code, so if I do do this as a giveaway, the winner will get, you know, all of this, or maybe I'll do a PS5 version too, or PS4, so we'll see, depending on how the channel goes. But, I haven't even unboxed this yet. This is the statue that came with it. And I'm usually not too big into these statues, unless it's like DBZ related, I kind of like to, to collect those ones that come with the games. Um... But yeah, I mean, I plan on doing a like a, a gaming setup and background and everything like that here soon. So this might be pretty cool to have out on the stand for it if I can get it open. Can I get this? There we go. Let's check this out. Hmm. Not really too much to it. Let's see. Whoops. Knock that down on you guys a little bit. So it looks like it has a little plastic piece to keep it its head stuck on there and or you know from breaking or bobbing, but not too much to it. It's pretty cool looking up close. I haven't even looked at it other than what you guys just saw. Let's see the detail. Sorry, I dropped that. Seems pretty detailed. Not as good as some of them I've seen. But it's not too bad. Hey, it came with the came with the gold edition. Can't complain. I probably wouldn't have bought it had I known. I think it cost like an extra forty dollars with it. I thought it was like all the bundle with it. So, but it's alright. See if anything else is in here. Nope. Nothing else. Seems like maybe the game was supposed to slide in here when it was all shipped as one. Let me see. Yeah, I bet you that was it. Because there's a little area that looks like it can uh, have for it to slide out. You know, I'll just put the game in there for now anyways. Keep it all as one. But yeah, I'll uh, do a video... Actually, I'll just stream it and let you guys know because uh, I'm going to have it set up now where I should be able to start talking on my stream and uh, really haven't been doing it too much because my wife works from home and um, I just don't want to pick up everything, you know, she's saying for work and all that. Some things she deals with banking to keep private so I don't uh, stream as much as I did in the PlayStation lately with the camera uh, just because of the timing of the stream. So... I will have the cameras and a, a separate desk and everything all set up soon, so that'll be pretty sweet. But yeah, check it out, guys. Let me know if you've already played it. Let, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, let me know what it's like if you've played it on PS4, PS5, um, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. I'm going to be playing on the Series X, and I haven't started yet, so I'm definitely excited. It looks like a great game. All right, guys, have a good one.